Bonsai Boxing Promotions in association with Tony Conroy and of course Dave Garside Promotions. Sponsored here by PrinceNassim.com and a very warm welcome to our viewers joining us live and exclusive here on Sky Sports. You've joined us for the very best ringside seat in the business. All the officials have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control here present with us at ringside. Matchmaker Mr. Graham Lockwood, steward in charge of Fred Potter, area secretary Mr. John Jarrett, chief inspector Paul Gooding, has appointed inspectors Eddie Higgins and David Fenn, and our three medical officers Dr. David Kipling, Dr. Tim Howard and Dr. A. Roy. They are the officials, here are the contestants and we are now in the light welterweight division. Introducing to you, he's fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red trunks, trimmed with white, and weighing in at 10 stone, 3 pounds, 14 ounces. Coming to the ring undefeated in five contests, five wins, three inside the scheduled distance. He's from Liverpool, please welcome Gary And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the black trunks and weighed in at 10 stone, 2 and 3 quarter pounds. Undefeated in 9 contests, 9 wins, 4 inside the scheduled distance. He's from a hotly poor blue welcome, Kevin Finn. Time to the is Arnold Bryson and referee in charge of the action is Terry Cole. This is eight three minute rounds. Obey my instructions at all times, defend yourself at all times, give it clean. Shake hands, shake hands. Potentially a very good fight this. Both of them with 100% records. Kevin Bennett with huge local support here. The former soldier, originally from Birmingham, but very much an adopted son of Hartlepool now. And here's Gary Ryder, 29, five wins out of five, and three of them in the first round. Ryder's the one in the red trunks here. Just the suspicion on the scales that Ryder might more naturally be a welterweight, and Bennett really a light welterweight. Will that be a factor? They were a little bit worried, the Bennett camp, that Ryder was weighing a bit too much last night. They had to make him take a bit off before they were happy. Well, and he still be. didn't get inside the 10-3 it was made at. That's right, he should be. You know, he's, he's a pretty stocky, strong man, very physically well-developed, and he can punch. So this is a, a dangerous fight for Bennett, who is starting to make a bit of a name for himself now. He's looked pretty accomplished so far. Good body punch from the former soldier. But this might be his toughest test yet. But with home advantage working in his favour. One little problem for Ryder is his five wins have been spread over five years. There's been a lot of inactive periods. That makes you wonder a little bit about him. Good body shots from Bennett there who started the quicker. Bennett's been fighting often both as amateur and pro, so you know, he's ready for this. He's the, the better boxer of the two, the quicker hands, but there's always that danger that Ryder can get a big punch on. Bennett in those black trunks, remember, a former ABA finalist and an England international between 1996 and 1999. Good work with the jab by Gary Ryder, a former sparring partner Ryder of Shane Neary the uh, former world champion at light welterweight. Good body shot with the right hand from Bennett, who has a confident air about him every time we've seen him. He's pretty organized. Not a huge puncher, I don't think, but he's got good all-round skills. Looks like he knows what he's doing in there, doesn't he? Yes, he does. He is a, a skillful boxer. He's been on the road a bit for around the country, but he'll enjoy being in front of his home crowd. Just a bit too quick early on here for Ryder. And catching him with some good shots. Outboxing him, outspeeding him. 
just making Ryder look a shade cumbersome. They do look like fighters from different weight divisions, though. Should have go eight rounds, this. And Kevin Bennett's won the first of them. Vampires or said Ibiza's have air conditioning instead of a sunroof. Welcome back to the Borough Hall in Hartlepool, not very far from the sea here, and a good crowd and an intimate atmosphere. A very appreciative crowd, too. Yes, yeah, good sports fans up here. They they don't get much boxing and they do appreciate when they do. Saw some good stuff from Kevin Bennett in that first round. Gary Ryder here had a few problems. This is the second round. Due to go eight, officially in the light welterweight division. Though, as we were explaining, Ryder in the red trunks, more naturally, we think, up near welterweight. So the bigger man, but that not really working to his advantage in the first round speed of Bennett was a key factor and his boxing ability yes yeah, so well Bennett has got to keep using that speed and as the fight goes on he may tear and that's where Ryder may get his shots on just has to be a little bit wary of the power of Gary Ryder who's shown that he can dig a bit in his career to date. It's the catch bell, Ryder has to start throwing punches. That's what he's not doing. He's letting Bennett dictate and get off first. Bennett looks as if he's relishing the occasion in front of the television cameras live for the first time and with his home fans urging him on. So far, Ryder hasn't got started. fighters like Ricky Hatton and Shane Neary and John Faxton, Jason Rowland, people that Bennett might be looking at down the road if he can continue to make an impact. He's making plenty so far early in his career. Looks the part, doesn't he? Yes, he does. He's nice and fast, got good variety. But well, no, this is a dangerous fight for Bennett. He worked the angles very well, though, Bennett there calls himself Bulldog Bennett. Well, he might have to, as this fight goes on, show a bit of Bulldog spirit using his boxing ability at the moment, but I'm sure they will start getting together as Bennett starts to tire. Just hitting the gloves sometimes with these jabs. Bennett. But he has the movement of a good looking fighter. Bit of lateral movement. Keeps his gloves up. Finds angles for his punches. He's got good hand speed as well. And there are times here where Ryder's just looking a little bemused by it. Yes, this is good from Bennett. What he hasn't got to do is, you know, with the crowd show, you get drawn into a fight. That's where Ryder could catch him. Let's just have a look at the uh, interesting British scene. This is how we rank the light welterweights in this country. Eamon McGee there at the top, the Commonwealth champion. Shane Neary, Billy Schwer, who's moved into this division and picked up one of the lesser world championships. Ricky Hatton, likewise. Junior Witter, Jason Rowland. Now, those fighters at the top won't agree with that order. They'll have a good old argument about it, all of them. 
So the only way to settle it, of course, <laughs> is for them to fight each other. We're waiting. That's exactly right. Some good fighters there, some good fights to be made, and we just want to start seeing them happen. But there's Bennett first to the punch. Ryder still missing with his shots, looking to get some body punches going there. He's quick, he's pretty quick when he does let those shots go Ryder, but he just isn't throwing enough. Here's the third round of this eight-rounder in which the local man Kevin Bennett in the black trunks has started well. He's won the first two rounds pretty much beyond dispute, Glenn. Yes, I think so. He's the one that's throwing shots. He's uh, got the better variety, but he's always threatening Ryder. Just looking for one punch that might get Bennett going. Bennett has to be careful that he doesn't get overconfident make an error it's got to be a good controlled compact performance this is just moving up a league from anything he's been in with before again rider made to hit thin air Well, in his last fight, Bennett, it, it looked, in a repeat went over Keith Jones, it looked like he needed a step up. He needed something to bring better out in him. Well, he's got that now, and this could be the fight to do it. I think he's usually going to have to go a longer route, Bennett. He's not possessed of tremendous power, but he just might break some opponents up over the longer distances. stalking Ryder coming forward a bit more he's gonna make Bennett work in this fight but still getting out speeded just while he's thinking of a punch Bennett is coming up with little two and three punch combinations of his own and all the time he's just looking to switch the angle so he's never quite there in front of Ryder Yes, I think that's a good thing in his advantage. He's got good movement, Bennett, good side-to-side -side movement. That'll always keep a fight like Ryder off balance. It's good tactics. But Ryder may be thinking, just let me get one big shot in and see how he can cope with that. There's a good left hook got through to Bennett, to the, got through to Ryder, to the body. That hurt Ryder. He scrimmaged a little. There's another body shot from him. It might have given Bennett a clue about how to unlock the door completely. Yeah, that was nice. He saw Ryder win and another body shot going in this time the other side. I think Bennett's got the message, hasn't he? He's now really making a target of the body. It's another round for Bennett. He's won them all so far. With its intelligent protection system, the all-new Ford Mondeo is one of the safest places to be. Welcome back. It's going well so far for Kevin Bennett. I'm impressed by the way he's performing here. Yes, this is good. You know, he looks very alert. His concentration's good. And he's finding the gaps. There's that body shot. Good left hook. Right to the midsection. You saw how Ryder wins. And that just found the weakness there. Here comes round four. Red trunks, remember, Gary Ryder of Liverpool, by the way. He's 29, four years older than Kevin Bennett, fighting in his hometown of Hartlepool. Where they're pretty proud of him. They have the brothers George and John Feeney, who are at ringside tonight, British champions both. Thing he hasn't got to do is 
get overconfident better. He's got to keep to his game plan. That's where you know there could be danger. A little right cross close in from Ryder. He bundles his man up against the ropes on the far side. Looks strong enough there, Bennett. He's starting to try to open up, and in doing so, it could just present an opportunity for Ryder, who gets a little warning there about use of the head. Another good right hook from Ryder. But it just has to be careful, you know, when the crowd gets shouting, there's always a danger you go in, leave yourself open. Well, that can happen to the most experienced fighters. Remember Alan Minter that night against Marvin Hagler, when, by his own admission, he was just hyped up by the crowd and didn't fight his fight at all. That's right. You've always got to just keep to your game plan. The body shot from Ryder, who's having a bit more success in this round. Bennett just forgot his boxing. He needs to get back to the jab, to the lateral movement. Sometimes I think that's the macho thing, isn't it, with fighters? They want to prove that they can not only outbox the other fellow, but can stand there and pray with them if they want to as well. That's right, and having her right with that body shot, you know, he's beginning to believe he can get through. And it's just starting to get a bit messy, the work of Bennett. Now, Ryder appreciating the fact that Bennett is happy to stand in front of him more in this round. It's not so smart, this, by Bennett. He's just forgotten the strategy that was working so well for him. He's giving Ryder a chance that basically he didn't have. Yes, I think Bennett may have been caught with a decent body shot himself. I mean, just hasn't got the legs and needs to stand still. Best round so far, this, for Gary Ryder. Yes, it's notable Ryder really working the side of the body, round behind the ribs of Bennett. He's looking a bit more tired in this round. Not quite so snappy and sharp in his movements, Kevin. But I think you're right. I think one of those punches did take a little out of him, one of those body shots. It may not have been by choice that he was standing there. Yes, I think that the legs are just nodded up a bit and he's been hurt to the body. Welcome back here. We think Kevin Bennett was hurt by a body shot in that last round. Let's take a look at it. It might have been on the low side. Yes, there was one there just straight below the belt. Well, that's the one that took something out of him, I'm sure. It might have. Not so much a body shot, more like a groin shot, wasn't it? Yep, uh, yep that was a certainly a bit far south. Here's the fifth round. No matter, it's got Gary Ryder into the fight a bit. Bennett's stung into action. Listen to the crowd here. Ryder smiles almost cynically as he leans across the shoulder of Bennett. Bennett definitely getting drawn into a fight one way or another. And really, that's not the sort of thing that suits him. He's growing in confidence, Gary Ryder, a little. Number two, we think Ryder is naturally, if there's not much in it, slightly the stronger and bigger of these two fellas. But it's worth just coming apart a bit. He hasn't got that snap, that movement that he had early in the fight. Looks for the right uppercut, but didn't really manage to land it. Ryder trying to line up a haymaker or two. Ryder who came out of the same Kirby amateur gym that produced world champions John Conte and later Paul Hodkinson. Again, 
looking for the body punches right he got a nice little sneak right hand under the elbow this contest evening up after bennett had dominated the first three rounds with his extra speed but he's now trying to mix it with Ryder, and it's starting to look a slightly dangerous strategy yes you made the point earlier about the strength Ryder does look the stronger physically doesn't he he does these body shots then a little left hook and Bennett comes up for air looks about six rows back to somebody in the crowd and this is getting uncomfortable for him now there's been a real change in the plot here yes this is getting hard he's just starting to lose concentration you feel Bennett this was originally planned as a six rounder Bennett might be wishing it was he looks very tight and he's going to go I think Bennett there and he nearly went down it was a body shot again he stayed on his feet but he looked for a moment there as if he wanted to go down on one knee and then thought better of it yes he got hurt with the body shot was just about to go down he's tired and it's starting to hurt Bennett here Ryder very strong very confident well this is all bad news for Kevin Bennett it looked so good early on but he's looking ragged now and ready to be taken out he's hurt by a right hand he buckled at the knee fell into Gary Ryder and he needed that bell he needed it badly Kevin Bennett there big big round for Gary Ryder was it a 10-8 round no well, knockdown but it was no knockdown I think it was still a 10-9 round it was close to one it was a he was much better in that round and they're really trying to motivate better now let's just have a look here does his knee touch the canvas at one point now i don't think it did yeah, inconclusive off that shot but i don't think his knee actually did touch down but i think he looked as if he wanted to take respite didn't he yes he did he was hurt he thought about it there but then it, it obviously the pain wasn't enough and he got through it but he was definitely hurt at the end of the round here very much on top very confident very strong Gary Ryder and now you know why the Bennett camp were worried about the weight difference officially 10 2 and 3 quarters for Bennett and uh, Gary Ryder up near 10 stone 4 doesn't sound much but Ryder probably in the ring on the night that was 24 hours ago is weighing a lot lot more yes he could be just stumbling across the ring there Bennett the confidence just all falling away from him more body shots and they'll do well to come out with a win from this now a tired looking Kevin Bennett well this is one of the fight, those fights that really test someone and you get a, an idea of how good they're going to be if Bennett can get through this but can he his Hartlepool fans are worried you can almost feel the anxiety in the crowd here at the Borough Hall, the famous old boxing arena up here in the northeast. And his next fighter, you can tell how worried he is. He's starting to look around into the crowd. His body shots are breaking him up, and his legs very unsteady now. This is looking like a bad night for Bennett. Tip by two right hand. Not a lot coming back. Badly needs to hold on and buy some time. He could be staring here at his first defeat and his 10th pro fight who would have thought it in the first three rounds eh, Glenn? yes he just seemed as if he had total control but the strength of Ryder really telling now Terry Cole is the referee by the way and the three minutes are beginning to seem like 33 minutes at the moment for Kevin Bennett well, with all his fitness, with all his strength and experience, these body punches are really taking him apart. Well, it's easy to say sitting here, we're not taking the shots. And he is too tired to do it, I think, now. But really, he needed to carry on boxing him, and he decided to mix it with him. And it's proved a very, very flawed strategy. Oh, and there's a body shot way after the referee had said break. Now that was definite gamesmanship, to put it kindly, from Gary Ryder. Well, 
Bennett looking very weak, falling around in there, but he's still trying to keep throwing punches. How long to Ryder get that a clean shot at Bennett's stomach? Holding on for dear life, trying to buy time. Kevin Bennett, 16 seconds left in the round. Oh, he's going to be stopped here, surely. The referee's trying to stop the fight, and he has stopped it. And Bennett is beaten for the first time. The punches were raining in, and that quarter of a minute left in the round wasn't long, or was not long enough. Poor Kevin Bennett fell apart, and it's a big win that for Gary Ryder. It's going to hike him right up the ratings domestically. And it all fell apart in front of his own fans for Kevin Bennett. Oh dear. Yes, just that the strength of Ryder. He did the right thing. He reared it. He got his body shot gone. I mean, he'd been hurt himself, Ryder, from a good body shot. Bennett made the mistake of coming in, getting too confident. And really, it was good finish from Ryder. On answer punches there, he started to come back, but... You know, he took five or six without throwing anything back, complained. But I think the referee could have done the right thing. He did complain, but look how many punches he took here. One, two, three, four, left hook, center right hand. And he's sagging. The referee could have dived in a little more decisively, quite honestly, there. Kevin Bennett, the fighters sometimes are too brave for their own good. Look at these shots here. Well, no doubt about the fact that it was a right decision to stop the fight. Yes, he picked the, the right time. As you said, maybe he was a bit more decisive, but he picked the right time. He took you know, five or six really solid punches from a big man. Stopped in round six. A first defeat for Kevin Bennett. That's a big, big setback. It's a great win for Liverpool's Gary Ryder. Ladies and gentlemen, timekeeper Arnold Bryson has recorded a time of 2 minutes and 47 seconds of the sixth round. Referee Terry Cole has stopped the contest. Bennett in no position to continue. Your winner, he's still undefeated from Liverpool, Gary Ryder! And please show your appreciation for a very game boxer, as always, Hartley Paul's Kevin Bennett! there for Zola to say, I think, and he certainly at his age has the time to come back from that. But what of Ryder? He's been a professional for over five years, so where has he been in hiding all that time, Billy? Well, I think he's been doing a lot of sparring with Shane Neary. Uh, I mean, just goes to prove in there what some great body shots he puts together. He was too big and too strong on the night, and all credit to, uh, to Bennett, but he did, he did get conclusively beat. Could we be looking at a man even at his stage? You know, he's 29 years of age, Ryder. Could he now go on and start to make an impression on those rankings we showed? I really think he can. Um, with, with the the power he's shown there tonight he, and his stamina, I think he looked really fit and, and really ready for the job. Um, but again, all credit to Bennett for, for sticking there for so long. That is, of course, if Ryder can do the light welterweight limit, then Bennett's future must be in that division. Let's hope he can regroup. Top of the bill here tonight, light.